And we were made to understand that reasoning is the act of thinking through. You think through a problem, you think through a challenge, you think through a circumstances, and you rule your line and say, I am coming out. In the process of thinking through, you define your victory the way you want it. Even God himself said, come, let us reason together. You are not carnal by reasoning. You are only justifying the mind of Christ that is in you. Scripture says, for we have the mind of Christ. That mind is given for your constant victory. Constant progress. The part of the jaws is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter onto a perfect day. You never see a glorious tomorrow until you reason your way to a better tomorrow. So you need reasoning. And we sum it up by saying that reasoning is our major booster of faith. Anyone that is failing, his mind has failed him. And anyone that is winning, his mind is seeing the winning. So by reasoning, we picture possibilities. We don't see difficulties. We need reasoning for our faith to deliver more better results. And lastly, we meant to understand that we reason both with facts and truths. With facts and truths. In this second service, our focus is on strategic thinking. Say with me, strategic thinking. God said in his word, my ways are not your ways. Neither my thoughts, your thoughts. As the heaven is far from the earth, so are my ways far from your ways and my thoughts far from your thoughts. Strategy is what makes you a winner. Before you win on any matter, you must have given yourself to what we call strategic thinking. God is a God of ways. Scripture says he made his ways known unto Moses, but his acts to the children of Israel. There is nothing wrong with your life. There is nothing wrong with the plan of God for your life. Your only problem is that your strategy is a bad one. What we need is constant review on our strategy. Even in football, you will agree with me, no two teams play the same pattern. Am I correct? If you know that your opponent is in good in this pattern, you change pattern. If you play your opponent's pattern, you are lost in that match. Strategy. In football, every team will want to play counter-attack. But you can't play counter-attack if you don't have good runners. Two of us. It's not just counter-attack. This side and this side, they must be sprinters. Strategy. You are where you are now because of the low strategy or the high strategy. If what you know is what your enemy knows, you can't win your enemy. You can't win. You can't win.
align with your enemy. So there is need for you to upgrade your strategic thinking. And thinking strategically is asking yourself, there is a better way to get this thing done. There is a better way to get this result. There is a better way to get this answer. There is a better way to get this answer. Now let me, let me I think if I use this picture, it will, it will stick. When MTN came to Nigeria, they were making an average of 65 billion per month. Billion, not million, per month. In fact, they were in charge of the market. That time, SIM card was 25,000, 30,000. Am I correct? But now, SIM card is 100 naira. 250 naira. <laughs> Praise God. After then, Econet came, am I? After then, Glow came. After then, Etisalat, which is nine mobile now. Good. Econet failed not because their network was bad. They failed why? Because the owner of Econet, I've forgotten his name, I can try to remember. The owner of Econet did not agree to play the Nigerian game. So they frustrated him out of the business. They wanted to be eating his profit. So he refused. And finally, finally, from Iconet to Zane, and they zane them out. Finally, Etel now came. Now that's not where I'm going, but look at where the game changer is. You know, MTN dominated for a while until Etel came with Bondo. He started giving free Bondo. So they give you free bundle, free bundle. From free bundle, the thing started dropping from 65 to 50 to 45 to 40 to 35 to 20 something. Why? What Airtel started doing, Glow joined. Etisala joined. So everybody was sharing the profit now. They were doing what they call profit sharing. Until finally, finally, Etel now changed from 3G to 4G. From there, they slashed out their profit again. That's why you see some people, we make call with MTN, browse with Etel. <laughs> strategy. Say what it means, strategy. Whether you like it or not, the bundle market is the highest market globally. Am I saying the truth? Now, there was a research that was done last year. In London, people spend 25% of their time and money on communication on a daily basis. If it is Nigeria, it will be 70%. So someone strategically knocked off MTN's dominance and control over the market and over the business. Others joined until they polarized everything. Now, I hope you are aware that Etel had bad markets some months back. They started sacking. Someone had to buy it over and rebranded it Nine Mobile because they were in deficit. It is a lot. They were in serious deficit. If you lack strategy, you are a perpetual loser. You need strategy for winning in life, in your career, in your business, over family matters. You need strategy. Strategy. Now look at this again. Before now, if you transfer credit to someone, they don't charge you. But now if you transfer credit, 10 naira has been collected from your money. 
five thousand has been collected from you. Multiply it by ten million users. That goes to let you know that these people are thinking out strategy to be drawing you. You don't know, but they are drawing you. They are drawing money from you every day. You need strategy for things to work. If you lack strategy, things will not work. You may say it's small. Now, let me ask all of you. In your account, there is a fraction of kobos. Have you ever one day asked for that money? Do you know that all the kobo, 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 kobo in your account is what bankers are using to be trading and feeding fat? If you are a banker, say I'm lying. If you are a banker, say I'm lying. You have never asked for it one day. One day. So they gather your money and they're using it to be feeding fat. You say I'm lying. <laughs> Praise God. Say with me, strategy. Hear me? If you are going to change level, your plans are good. Rebrand your strategy. Rebrand your strategy. If it's not giving you the kind of result you want, rebrand it. What makes strategy work is planning. Say with me, planning. You keep reviewing your plans to suit where you are going. To suit what you want to achieve. To suit the kind of results you want to get. If there is anything that believers are deficient in, they can pray 71 days, 100 days, 40 days, but they hate what we call planning. Before the enemy defeats you, he has planned your defeat. Likewise, before you will win over your enemy, you must plan your victory. Plan your victory. Victory is planned. The most wise God is a planner. God can do all things. Am I correct? Why didn't he create everything in one day? Have you thought of it? Why didn't he create everything? I hope you know God can do all things. Why didn't he create everything in one day? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The next day, another thing took place. Strategy. 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 The more you strategize, the more you win. As you are improving your strategy, you are changing levels. Now, I want you to understand that with respect to spiritual matters, Scripture said that for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers against the rulers of the dark age. Rulers. Wicked forces. But look at what Apostle Paul said. <laughs> he said, we will teach principalities and powers the many-sided wisdom do you have amplified in your this thing? Let's read that scripture. I think it's in Ephesians 3. Is it 310? That will teach principalities and powers, the many sided. Another translation say complicated structure. Eh? 310, am I correct? Yes, go there. Their purpose is that through the church, the complicated, many-sided wisdom of God in all its infinite varieties and innumerable aspects might be made known to the angelic rulers and authorities, principalities and powers 
the heavenly sphere. Tell your neighbor you are too much. We will teach them the many sided. If you lack strategy, your wisdom is not balanced. You have an imbalanced wisdom. And if, if it's only one strategy you have, you are a failure. Day to day, utter speech. Night unto night, show it knowledge. God is still speaking. And every day God speaks new things. Say with me, new things. The wave of technology now, whether you like it or not, is from God. Am I correct? I say it's from God. Because it's bettering human lives. Giving each and every one of us an opportunity to achieve more in lesser time. Am I correct? I was watching one um, um, documentary video. Someone that had um, um, spinal disorder confined on a bed that if he needs to change the mattress, there is a machine attached to the person that all he just needs to press, the thing will move it up, move him up. And with his hand, he can rotate and push the mattress away and put a new one and the thing will now, he will press again, the thing will bring him down and he will lie down without anybody's assistance. Technology have gone far. Things are changing. There's one I saw recently. A, a, I won't call it a machine. It looks like a synthetic burner. You tie it on your waist region. It will squeeze out all the fat in your body. Do not burn off everything. It's not this one you say, take this detoxifier. Take the detoxifier. As they are detoxifying you, they are intoxicating something. You know? <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying now? Life is becoming easier. Why? Because men are strategizing. If you are not a good strategist, you will be crawling when others are flying. Crawling when others are flying. When John F. Kennedy said that um, America need to put their flag in the moon, they resisted. They said, no, it's impossible. It can never be done. He said, no, it may be difficult, but we need to put our flag there. They brought out the three men. They agreed. So everybody was watching to know whether they will die. They were on radio communication. 247 until when they finally landed and positioned American flag. It is possible. Everybody was happy. Should I tell you something? Somebody strategically planned it and it worked. I want to let you know whatever God himself said, this they have begun to imagine and nothing shall be restrained from them. This they have begun to imagine. And Dr. Kenneth Copeland said, anything you can think, 50% of it is done. Anything. Say with me, anything. anything. You can think, 50% of it is done. You need strategy. If you are not winning enough, review your strategy. If you are not succeeding enough, review your strategy. If you are not getting the best of what you want, review your strategy. There is nothing you want to do now that somebody has not done. Nothing, nothing that you want to do now that somebody has not done. All you just need to do, find out how they did it. 
strategic thinking will require constant information. Constant information. A wise man is strong. Yay! A man of knowledge increases strength. The strength of your strategy is at the mercy of your information base. If we are going to teach principalities and powers, men, don't be limited with what you know. Go for more. Tell your neighbor, go for more. Go for more. Go for more. Infinite varieties. You have many sides. People have only seen one side. Even Jesus said, and he gave them several abilities. Don't be, don't, don't be looking like someone that is disabled when you are more than able. You think strategically. Now, I saw something in the course of the week. How many of us know now that Western Union, that you no longer only pay with dollar or pounds? You can pay with Bitcoin. How many of us know now that MasterCard, you are not only transferring dollar, naira, you can now pay with Bitcoin? They don't want to be out of market because they know that that's where the market is for the future. And you, you, be, you just be say, oh, I don't understand, though. I don't understand. You, may you not understand? <laughs> Do you know what? People that think strategically, the world is in their hand. What the world will need for the next 20 years, they already have the information now. So all they are just doing is perfecting the strategy because they know you will need it and you will use it. Papa said, what this ministry will be doing till 2030, he already has it on paper. Now, should I challenge you? How many of you can convincingly say that what my life will be like in the next 10 years, I have it on paper? How many of you? How many of you? Nigeria is hard. Dollar is, dollar is 360. Is your life regulated by dollar? You remember when a basin of Gary was one naira? How many of us can remember? You say you can't remember? When a basin of Gary was one naira? God bless you. People started shouting when he got to 10 naira. Now a basin of Gary is how much? <laughs> Are people not still buying Gary? <laughs> what you need is higher money. It's not that price have gone up. What you need is higher money. Higher money. A bag of Garina is how much? 15,000 Abi? When, when it was one naira, people were shouting. They are still buying it today. True of us. True of us. Strategy keeps us on the path of progress. Strategy increases and winning. Strategy increases your opportunities for life. God has told you it is possible. You think out your way. Because my way is not your way. When God told Papa, now the hour has come. To liberate the world from all oppression of the devil. And I am sending you to undertake this task by the preaching of the word of faith. That's the only thing God told him. But how the scope, the dimension, the length, the form that the ministry will take was not God's responsibility. It was his responsibility. So he has to think it. We'll have Bible school. We'll have the printing arm. Who we'll have the university? Who we'll have the church arm? Who we'll have the construction arm? Very soon you will see that one. Who we'll have the banking arm? Very soon our university will be in all across Africa. Your shouting amen cannot change it. 
is already there. It's coming out one by one. Very soon we'll have Orient University, we'll have King's University, we'll have Crown University, all in Nigeria. They're taking them one by one. Very soon we'll have our own faith academy here. Somebody's not saying amen. <laughs> faith academy is not a state matter. Very soon it will be spread there to Akwanga, Nasarawa, Wamba, all those. Everywhere, it will scatter everywhere. Someone has been thinking in, before 2030, this is what will take place. What are you thinking? Who doesn't like you? That's the only thing you are thinking since you came to church. <laughs> Who doesn't want to see you? It doesn't matter! You don't need to like me! Come on! Jesus said, what is you when men speak well of you? So I'm not expecting your good comments. Rubbish. <laughs> your wrong thinking has not stopped where I'm going. Feel good about yourself. Feel good about yourself. Think good about yourself. If not, this your brain will never be correct. Oh. The beginning of depression is bad feeling. Depression? Start feeling bad. Your mind needs to be balanced for you to think strategically. Your mind needs to be sound for the rays of inspiration to be dropping on the day. Any day you lack inspiration, you are disconnected from God. I'm the one telling you. Because the scripture said, day to day utter speech. Night unto night show it knowledge. Let me bring it down. If you lack strategy, you limit destiny. But destiny is limited by your, strat by your strategy. So now that you, you hate reading, your case is worst. Because everything God will need to show you, your eye need to see it. This book of the law shall not depart. If you must take your part, this book of the law must be open. And you know, Satan is a, he's been in the corny business for long. He has been in the business of craftiness for long. He will make sure you are not interested in the book. In the book. I was reading the uh, message that was sent in one of our group. Somebody sent a message that Facebook has been demonized. Some demonic forces are using that platform now to demonize people. That's why you can be on Facebook one hour stretch. No shaking. Am I lying? From there, they will be showing you naked, naked picture. They are trying to get your attention. Because they know you like it. You may not like it, oh. You can punch. You want to read the comments. You are interested. Small, small. The devil is trying to buy your time. That same time, you cannot use it to open the Bible one hour without sleep doing you like it. If you lack quality information, Satan will give you destructive information. And you know, whatever one you want, you go get. You go get. Information is the bedrock of strategic thinking. Because if you hear something new now, something will spark off your, in your mind. Is this thing possible? Is this thing working this way? You begin to think. You can't hear a new information without thinking about it. How can I apply it to myself? 
How can it work for me? How can it affect my life? Now hear me. There are nothing less than 100 churches in Lafayette. Am I correct? Am I correct? But our strategy of operation is different from others. True of us. Is it not the same Bible we are preaching? It's the same Bible. But our mindset varies. Our reasoning varies. Our approach to things varies. When your strategy is upgraded, your approach to things will change. Papa defines wisdom as knowing what to do and doing it. Knowing what to say and saying it. Knowing where to go and going there. Knowing the step to take and taking it. Since you are aware that you are confronted by forces, and scripture says, whatsoever is born of God overcome the world, and this is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith, by scriptures, by scriptures, you now begin to apply these things and they will become mysteries. No wonder Paul said, according to the knowledge of my mystery. When you begin to operate wisdom, you operate mystery. When you begin to do some things, you are operating mystery. When they look at it, they say, ah, there is no, there is no wisdom in it. <laughs> uh, the message of the cross is foolishness to them that are perishing. But unto us, but unto us, it is our salvation. Mystery. Communion is a mystery. I come every day, they are taking communion. Every day they are doing blood or sprinkling. For what? The things you apply, they don't see any sense in it. But it's a wisdom and a strategy to keep your enemy under your foot. That's why your strategy keeps you in dominion. Every time your strategy... Now, how many of us know that you cannot knock off Toyota from the market? Toyota Motors. How many of us know you cannot knock off Toyota from the market? Do you know they are motto? Good thinking. Which means they keep reviewing their strategy to remain in the market. And not just to remain in the market, to be in control of the market. Good thinking. Good product. So your outcome and my outcome in life is at the mercy of your strategy. Yes, the word is available to all, but not everyone can apply it. Not everyone can take advantage of the opportunities. Not everyone can execute the wisdom. Why? Deficiency of strategy. When your strategy is good, your results will change. Your results will change. Your results will change. I'm aware that there are people that hate correction. The moment you show them the way, the way out, now they say, what, do, what does he think he is? Eh? I'm not going to do it. So that he will not come and say now that he has shown me something. Continue your suffering. Are you hear what I'm saying now? The reason why we come to church is for God to correct us. Am I correct? It's for God to rebuke us. So that we can be fashioned out the right way. Can be fashioned out the right way. Scripture says the meek will he guide in judgment. And the meek will he teach his ways. His ways. His ways. His ways. I'm not ashamed to say it. Most of what I do, there are things I have learned from people that have better results. Better results. Which result do I have? 
They too, they learnt it from someone. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? I won't forget on three, two or three different occasions that we went to see past, uh, Dr. Paul and then said, what's the new thing that Papa is doing now? The one that I'm not seeing on paper that you will know. Tell me now, tell me now. As you're talking, he's writing. He's humble to learn. But you will never reach anywhere. Puff, puff. You swell like bones. You swell up! People that have results, oh, they still want to know more because they want to get more. They want to achieve more. A wise man said, if we have gone far, it's because we have stood on the shoulders of people that are going far so that we, we, we can see farther. Do you want to go far? Before you become an expert, you must be treading on someone's strategy. The gospel does not have any copyright law. That's why you can duplicate it anywhere you go. You can learn something now and duplicate it another place tomorrow. Am I saying something to someone? What are you learning? Which strategy have you copied? Work on it. It will put the same risk. Papa said, if you do what I do, you will see what I see. If you do what I do, you will see what I see. If you do what I do, you will see what I see. No matter where you are confronted, no matter what is opposing you, or what is weighing you down, there is a way out. Don't say I have done all that I need to do. All that you need to do may not be enough. In fact, your information is limited. If it is not limited, you, have gotten, you will have gotten the result. All you need to do, find out who have gotten this result. How did he do it? How did he achieve it? Go back, sit down, adopt the same, you will get the same result. Amen. Even testimonies, they reproduce their kind. How much more other things of life? Testimonies, they reproduce their kind. I want to let you know you will not fail again. Beginning from today, you will recover everything you have lost. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. That is why restoration cannot be total without information. You will recover all, yes, but there are informations you need to recover all. For we know in parts and we understand in parts. Whatever you know now, whatever I know now is in parts. That area you need restoration and recovery, you need better information, quality information. In Revelation chapter 5 and verse 12, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. In the first service, we looked at power and riches. And this second service, we are looking at wisdom and strength. Scripture told us that wisdom is better than weapons of war. A wise man is strong. Yea, a man of knowledge increases strength. So, there is a spiritual connectivity between wisdom and strength. Wisdom and strength. Wisdom and strength shall be the stability of thy times. Wisdom, strength shall guarantee you stability. So if there is anything that needs to be restored, it's your access to wisdom. You must come out of foolishness and manifest the wisdom of God. Because you were born of wisdom, not of foolishness. Foolish people only take foolish steps. 
children of the most high god they must walk in wisdom wisdom if you lack wisdom <laughs> scripture say all our ways are ways of pleasantness meaning every step you take will be bringing you good news good things wisdom check your steps are they wise steps you need wisdom to recover every aspect to recover everything you have lost to carelessness to ignorance you need wisdom you need wisdom to reclaim your victory wisdom so growing in wisdom is not an option is a must say so with me is a must as you are increasing in wisdom you are increasing in profit you are increasing in glory you are increasing in anointing oh <laughs> proverbs said, i think chapter 8 he said i caused them to that love me to inherit substance so meaning wisdom guarantees money wisdom guarantees wealth i caused them that love me to inherit substance so if you lack wisdom you will be poor because wisdom is the major ingredients for wealth creation words are created and god has made you the creator and how will you make you the creator by releasing to you divine inspiration be hitting you with divine ideas so you must go back this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth this book of the law this book is the bank of wisdom and scripture says, what wisdom is this concerning jesus they were asking which manner of wisdom is this man operating i give unto you a mouth and a wisdom that your adversary will not be able to resist nor gain say so you need wisdom to win your adversaries i give you a mouth and a wisdom which your adversaries will not be able to resist nor gain say So wisdom is not a choice. It's a must. If you must shine in this life, you need wisdom. Knowing the right thing to do and doing it, and knowing the right place to go and go in there. The second thing that must be restored is strength. Say with me, strength. Weakness is the gateway to sickness. If there is anything a sick man needs to be recovered from, is weakness. They want to find out whether he's strong. So he's coming out from weakness. A wise man is strong. Yea, a man of knowledge increases strength. The strength of your faith is at the mercy of your knowledge. The people that do know their God they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. No wonder Apostle Peter said, add to your faith knowledge. The capacity of your faith is at the mercy of your knowledge. To move from monster seed to great faith, you need knowledge. What you hear increases the strength of your faith. What you hear that God has done for someone paints a picture to you what is possible for you. What you hear that has taken place in another person's life fuels confidence in you that you are the next for the, that blessing. That is why you need to keep hearing. Faith comes by hearing. What you hear increases the strength of your faith. And Jesus has made everything available to us. He has released strength. Word. The word of God injects strength. So if you came here hopeless, you are going back refired. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. I want to tell someone here, you are in church. Today is the last day that failure will torment you. Yeah. No one here will be tormented by failure again. You are not born a failure. You are born a winner. 
The scripture say we are more than conquerors through Christ. Through Christ. That strengthens us. So every time you hear the word, please I beg you, don't play with your word life. Satan wants to render you impotent spiritually. He wants to reduce your spiritual stamina by making you lose interest in the world. Even me at my level, as busy as my schedule is, I still, I still force myself, no, I must study the world. No, I must take the world. Because the strength of your prayer delivery is the word. Am I correct? The strength of your prayer delivery. If you hear any person said, I fasted three days, I prayed violently, and they are attacking me. I just know the person is word deficient. He's word deficient. Satan can't attack a word man. He can only attack you when you know you are, you are, you are just shouting. You don't have power. I'm just making noise. What gives you power is not prayer, it's the word. The strength of your prayer power is your word load. When you are word loaded, your prayer strength is, is heavy. So please, I'm begging you, don't play with your word level. Make it a must. Discipline yourself. Discipline yourself. Discipline yourself. Sit down with the word. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Morning. Every time you have opportunity, take the word. One chapter. Two chapters. Parents, hear this? We are giving our children compulsory assignment. Every day now, you must take one chapter in the morning, one chapter in the evening. By the end of this month, we'll change it five chapters. If you don't eat, come and eat now. Come and eat. You must eat that one first before you eat this one. What are we doing? <laughs> Scripture say concerning Abraham, he will command. It's not, please now, go and read now. If you read, if you, okay, if you finish this one, take one. Now lie! Command! What does it mean to Command. You exert force. What does it mean to command? You exert force. If you allow them, they may not. They fear you. But use command. Oh yeah, go and sit down. Read. Read Proverbs chapter 1. Read uh, Psalm 1. You. You start here. You read John chapter 1. Finish it. You. You read Colossians. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? If you don't finish it, don't come out. Come out now. You know I have Koboko. One in the office, one at home. Now, there's no Koboko for you. You go sit down. Discipline yourself. Do you know that studying the word requires discipline? It requires discipline. You need that discipline. If not, you are a failure. The same way you will discipline yourself to read so that you don't fail your exam. Read so that you don't fail in life. If you don't want to be a failure in life, make sure you sit down with the word. The battle of tomorrow is already waiting for you. You need the word to grow in wisdom, to grow in strength. You don't learn how to shoot gun. At the war front. Two of us. Uh, are they doing it? No. No. You must prepare before you go. Say with me, you must prepare before you go. When you prepare before you go, you can even be running and be shooting. So start preparing now. You don't learn how to fight your enemy when your enemy is already waiting for you in the ring, you prepare for your enemy. Rise up to your feet. You will not lose again. 
I'm saying it to you, you will never lose again. Whatever you have lost. You are going to pray, Lord, <laughs> David said, shall I pursue? Will I overtake? And God said, pursue. You will overtake and surely recover all. You are going to pray, Lord, give me inspiration. Give me ideas that will guarantee me to recover all. Whatever you have lost now, you will recover all of them. Amen. If you have lost money, you will recover money a thousand times. Amen. If you have lost opportunity, more better opportunity will come your way a thousand times. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. If you have lost position, watch out. The one God is giving to you will be one thousand times better than what you lost. Amen. But you are going to cry out from the depths of your heart. Lord, Give me inspiration. Show me what to do. Wherever I've been missing it, whatever I've been doing that is not guaranteeing me winning, that is not enabling me to win the way I desire to win, Spirit of God, show me. Reveal to me the things that I need to do for things to change. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. Lero Shakote Predi Azara. Holy Ghost, illuminate my mind. Illuminate my heart. Lord, let there be a fresh rays of inspiration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fresh rays. Of ideas. Spirit of God, help me to improve my strategy for success, for progress, my strategy for reading, my strategy for study, my strategy for prayer. Lord, show me things that I've never seen before. Open my eyes, O oh Lord, that I will behold wondrous things. Out of thy law in the name of Jesus, illuminate my mind for greater success, for greater victory, for greater progress, for greater accomplishment. In the name of Jesus Christ, reveal to me the hidden mysteries of your word that will guarantee victory over every manipulation of the wicked, that will silence every satanic oppression. Lift up your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. Every manipulation of the enemy over your life, over your family, over your work, over your career, they come to an end today. Show me. Lord, show me. He said, we shall call upon you and you will answer us and show us great and mighty things which we know not. Reveal Illuminator, show me. Show me. Show me. The things that will guarantee greater profit, greater success, greater victory, greater breakthrough, greater success, greater victory. Greater breakthrough. Show me. Show me. Show me, Lord. Show me, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Until you become God's own, it's not permitted to show you his ways. You want to make Jesus your Lord and your Savior now? You can't show a stranger your secrets. You can't show a stranger the things that is making you win. It must be someone that has accepted you. Wherever you are, you want to make it right with Jesus. Without shame of whoever is beside you, 
Your life is your life. Your destiny is your destiny. You want to make it right with Jesus? Put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If you pray this prayer with me wherever you are, carry your bag and your Bible and come forward right now. I want to pray with you. Put your hands together for Jesus. God bless you. God bless you.